Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. One of the most sought after fields in the world of finance is investment banking. A lot of people wish to enter this field and experience the life of an investment banker. Today I have with me someone who has 3 years of experience in investment banking. She is a chartered accountant and the interesting part here is that she got this opportunity before even qualifying as a chartered accountant. So let's find out how she got into investment banking. and how was her experience overall without wasting any further time i would like to welcome ca prachi thakkar first of all congratulations prachi how does it feel to clear the ca exams and finally achieve your goal of becoming a ca okay hi harsh first of all thank you thank you for having me here how does it feel to finally be called a chartered accountant it's so hard to describe what i feel it feels amazing to be on the other side this was the moment my family and i were waiting for for so long as soon as the results were out i remember pulling out my phone entering my roll number and my entire body just went numb when i saw those two four letter words pass on the screen it still gives me goosebumps it's like you want to scream but you're quiet you want to smile but you can't control your tears you just can't hold on to it the feeling is absolutely unmatched and people started addressing me as ca madam ca madam and it didn't sound real like it was so hard to believe that i've reached here and like one moment you were just like an ordinary student waiting for results and in seconds you looked at with reputed eyes it is surreal and after achieving this you clear any other exams i bet the feeling is not going to come back this is like a one time thing so everyone who cleared this attempt or any past attempt big congratulations to you live this moment it's not coming back every chartered accountant including myself would be uh uh would relate to this very well because this feeling is amazing and i am really happy to see your success so i'll come to the topic of this interview uh, how exactly did you get into investment banking during your article ship days because uh, this field is not quite open to a lot of people so how did you uh, how did you get this opportunity Okay so uh once i cleared my ca inter i gave interviews in quite a lot of ca firms i was certain that i wanted to get into a smaller or mid sized firm because i was made to believe that the exposure there was phenomenal my preference was taxation because the time when i cleared inter the opportunities were quite limited we didn't even know what a field like investment banking was of if a field like investment banking was even offered to articles so like any other ca article i gave my interviews very normally again i mentioned that my preference was taxation and the person taking my interview really liked the way i presented myself and offered me a place in his team which was again investment banking so he also mentioned that i would get to do tax and audit as well as investment banking so it since it was my preference he let me do that too along with what i was expected to be doing there so i was very happy yet confused because all my friends were in either tax or audit field and i was here completely unaware of what the field is and what's next to come so then they sat me down and made me understand that they don't offer this position to articles however things have changed now i believe people are getting better opportunities and investment banking as a field now i believe is open to articles as well so yes this is how i got into investment banking so uh, could you tell me that were you selected out of a few uh, batch of students or how exactly did it happen i mean uh, how were you picked out of the group so we were like 20 or 25 uh, articles giving that interview and uh, we were we were not questioned any of us like we as spoken to my former article friends and we were never questioned on any technical questions or uh, anything that uh adding value was ever important they just wanted to see the way you present yourself because investment banking as a field is more towards communicating with the clients and they wanted to give you that front end work that front end exposure so in order to have that all they were seeing was if you were able to present yourself if you if you were confident so i remember my uh, uh manager then manager he mentioned that i had 
uh, a few points that he was specifically looking for in articles and a lot of people lacked that so this could be helpful to you so listen carefully uh, so he said one i was very open to learning so even if he would have asked me any technical question and i wouldn't have known at that time i would just be open about it that i'm sorry i really don't know but i'll get back to you and uh, so i was open to learning and i was flexible like i i didn't mind st- sitting an extra hour and learn it through so this was the first point he said second i was very good good at presenting myself like my english my vocabulary he said was very on point and i think this is where a lot of people lack and this is where you should work so basic valuation skills are fine you obviously need that but yes so out of 20 25 people they would see if you are able to present yourself if the clients would also see what they see in you right now uh so the emphasis is on is on the communication part and rather than the technical skills because uh, it is easy for a chartered accountant to learn something technical but the communication skills part is something that we need to uh, develop over the years rather than Correct. suddenly expecting ourselves to be good at that so mm-hmm. i i'll go to the next question so what kind of work assignments did you get and how was the learning experience okay uh, so uh, like i mentioned previously i got to do little of everything which also included tax and and audit specifically talking about the finance part of my work i was responsible majorly for the due diligence and mis reporting i have also tried my hands on preparing iams and pitch decks representing the client um in addition to that i have also participated in a big sell side due diligence of a private equity raise i have also assisted in getting the uh, getting a company ipo listing ready uh, so now they are also letting the articles prepare valuation mo- model i believe but unfortunately my article ship ended before that so i couldn't uh, learn it but the opportunities are endless now like i've heard a lot there people get to do industrial training and what not but we'll get to that uh, and with regards to my experience there was so much i learned which i wouldn't have if i would have been placed somewhere else obviously there are perks of other fields too but i'm glad i was given this opportunity because you get a hands on experience on how how the large corporates are pitched to the vcs and what could possibly be the warning signs or red flags in a company or why an investment should or should not be made so yeah so so you mentioned due diligence uh, i am pitch decks so could you please elaborate a little so that the people could understand what exactly you mean by those things okay so due diligence is basically analysis of a company you take any financials and you start an- analyzing you see the projections that is what due diligence is um uh, what did you say uh, so i mentioned about vcs also venture capital firms if someone doesn't know are uh, um ha- who who are the firms which would have private equity investors that provide capital to companies with high growth potential in exchange for an equity stake this is what vcs are pitch decks would be like a 5 to 10 uh, page presentation uh which would ensure that the investors know about the company's background this is what pitch deck is and im is uh, short for information memorandum so this is like this is a longer version of pitch deck but um, this goes directly to the investors and this has the background of the company along with its competitors and the size of the market uh, and how much market share the competitors hold the financials the position of the company at the moment why do they need equity uh the purpose for which they need it and so on so your job basically was to uh, pitch a company to a venture capitalist and convince them to buy a stake in in that particular uh, company or startup or whoever your client was correct yeah correct but since i was an article so i would get a lot of back end work like i mentioned before but i was there in the meeting so yeah you do get it and for uh, the people who are not freshers they have already had experience in this they could grow and they could get they could get to talk to the clients very often often than i would have as an article uh, so uh, we know that there are a lot of confidentiality requirements but 
if it would be, if it would be possible for you to discuss something related to what kind of uh, companies you pitched or what exactly were you doing on any particular assignment without actually naming or hinting towards okay. the client okay so uh, there was an edtech industry again i had to unfortunately leave because my article ship ended so i'll give that disclosure but uh, this is where i worked most upon the ims and pitch decks uh, there was an industry in edtech uh there, there was a company in edtech industry edtech is education technology uh who would um, teach their uh, uh, teach the students coding and uh, we had a big competitor i don't want to name any so uh, the company needed uh, funds and uh, the reason i am not supposed to be disclosing so i would keep that confidential so the company needed funds and uh, we went to the venture capitalist and uh, we asked them for the funds we gave them the purpose and uh, so at that time the uh, the edtech industry was not booming as much as it would have because the competitors had made a huge uh, thing out of themselves and it was very hard to compete against them so it was not booming but since the promoter the founder of the company was a uh, very knowledgeable very educated and so the when, so basically since we needed funds and the edtech industry was not booming so well it was very hard for the vcs to trust them or give them the fund because we did not know if we would be able to create something out of us in the market at that time but they still did they did we we pitched to them and they did and we asked them to trust the promoters because since he's educated he knows what he's doing right so it went a little smoothly than it should have been so this was an experience uh while preparing pitch decks and ims uh we would have to learn everything of the industry from uh the background of the company to what the industry actually is and, and how how the competitors have built the way they have and how they have reached to a point where it's so hard for us to compete against them so uh we ha- we had to do everything you you go to any at tech industry website or you go to any uh, so you go to your competitors website and search everything they have done and make sure your company has it too um because it's not easy for the vcs to believe in you so since we had a good hold as an investment banker also in our market we could pitch that the promoter was also trustworthy and he could be trusted so that's how he got the deal okay that that was quite interesting and uh, students would be quite interested in knowing about their tech industry and whatever developments are taking place because that is something that uh, is meant for us and dedicated to us mm-hmm. so uh, how was the work pressure and how did you manage your studies along with work so for those who are not uh, ca students or chartered accountants Uh, ca students need to go through an article ship training which is a full time uh, job and alongside that we need to uh, study for the exam because after clearing ca intermediate we need to give ca final and that is after completing our article ship so every ca student needs to manage the job along with the studies so i like prachi to share her experience okay um i'll be honest the work was manageable or maybe it was that way because i was an article but sometimes it did get very hectic because if you have to close a deal you have to close a deal there are no ifs and buts to that uh i have had to miss my lectures sometimes because i had to sit and finish the work so yes there were there were, that was there but it wasn't like it was every day i would get to leave on time but i sometimes i wouldn't get to leave on time but i would also wouldn't be just sitting for very late hours you know so uh, for my finals i would have my classes from 7 to 10 in the morning and i would attend that leave for office and be home by 9 ish i remember uh, missing a few of my weekend lectures because the work pressure was extreme at that time and often i would be the last one to leave the office so yes it was hectic but uh, i would still consider it manageable uh, but i have seen my then manager work for hours to a point where he would just forget that he has to sit and have his lunch so along with my office 
i would uh, only get time to attend lectures couldn't find much time for self study so that is there yeah so there was work pressure but not i i still would consider it manageable yeah okay so the learning and the fun part comes with the uh, work pressure that follows in this field because yes. you you have got to close the deals so so one thing that a lot of people uh, have in their mind is venture uh, sorry uh, investment banking is quite glamorous and there is a lot of hype that surrounds it so what would you like to tell people who aspire to join investment banking and what kind of expectations they should have before joining it is it as good as the hype uh, makes it feel like so uh, for those who aspire to join ib i wish i could say it was easy to get in um, to be able to crack the interview of course you need the you need to know the basics of valuation or other models um uh, you would use for the valuation of company you would need to know what the methods are to use uh, methods you use to value the company and how it would vary from different industries and to learn the basics you uh, have courses available in the market so for it, you to make it easier to crack the interview if you are a fresher a few mistakes here and there are fine but be sure to work on your communication skills i have been pressuring this or pressuring on this for very long it has to be a good 100 if not top notch um apart from the necessities you also have to be ready to put in a lot of efforts you need to build in the motivation to have long working hours and not get tired of the kind of work you are doing because it will get tiring after a while and if you aren't motivated to work for long hours your learning scale drops rapidly all the boons of getting educated on various in- industries would be a waste so if you believe that you are ready to see your ch- colleagues leave on time and still have the dedication to continue the work without getting affected this is the place to be i i'm sorry i'm being very straight forward here but people don't realize the amount of motivation it needs to you know stay in this profile as a fresher you will get to do valuation work or you may be asked to prepare pitch decks for the meeting i explain what what pitch decks are uh previously this is again back end work but gets you educated uh, about the different uh, industry backgrounds after a few years once you get promoted uh, to to a better role you get to lead the meetings because by now you know the spectrum and how far it goes you know uh, you get to also negotiate with the clients or get to pitch to them you get to lead your associates if you keep working the way you're expected to chances are you would bring in more clients and lead the meetings too so i'll say uh, to answer your question the hype is all worth it if you're ready to make worth out of it okay that that was a very uh, elaborate and a clever response because you need to know the reality of the field before you get into it uh and lastly every chartered accountant is an inspiration to the hard working aspirants out there so do you have any message for them yes uh, i will say don't lose hope often times we study with full motivation but when exams are near we tend to question ourselves or have self doubts thinking if we even remember anything we have studied but that's not going to do any good it is only going to depreciate your chances of clearing faster um a prefix comes with big responsibilities and value added to your name and to get that we have to work with full day dedication and the consistency needs to be seen but that doesn't mean you torture yourself with just study 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 all the time it is important that you take adequate breaks and do what you like so if you like playing sports take an hour go out play the damn game meet your friends eat relax sleep for minimum 7 hours and keep going i can already see potential cas watching this video and congratulations you guys i already know the upcoming attempt is going to be yours i know there is not always light after light but there is also not always dark after light and yes more often than not you will feel that you are lagging behind or your friends are way ahead of you but hey who cares 
i am so proud of you and you should believe in yourself too and when i cleared ca i was happy laughing crying dancing screaming i don't know what not doing everything i was supposed to do yet i kept feeling like i didn't deserve this or or that's too much happiness for me oh my god i'm going to be slapped with the bad news but see if bad news is going to come we'll together figure it out figure it out and we are going to be strong and get over that too so this is your moment and when that moment comes to you promise me that you will live and you will scream and you will say you made it believing that you did and uh, i would like to end this with uh, uh, a quote from harry potter uh, it goes happiness can be found even in the darkest of time when one only remembers to turn on the light that was uh, really inspiring and i hope that it would help a lot of people and motivate a lot of people so thanks a lot prachi for joining this was a really insightful discussion and i again i'll i'll say it will definitely help a lot of people and and all the students are going to have a lot of queries so uh, you all should feel free to mention them in the comment section i'm going to trouble prachi a lot with those queries and get back to you and try to help you out as much as uh, both of us can uh, and so yes if you all like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to hj invests for more such interesting videos and thanks a lot for joining stay tuned